had the opportunity to look over a blog post about some tech tools for 2021. And although 2021 is almost over, I thought it would be a good idea to kind of do a review and see what might be beneficial. So after reading the blog, I just wanted to share some of my thoughts. So they suggested a program called Moat. And it provides feedback um, for students. It's a Google Chrome extension. Uh, you can add voice comments on any Google Docs, slide presentation, spreadsheet. Um, we don't use Google Classroom, but um, it is an option. Um, we have something very similar that a lot of people uh, use, and we have access to, um, we pay for it. It's Poodle, P-O-O-D-L-L. -L. Um, it integrates with Moodle, um, and it has a lot of flexibility. Um, we have documentation on the Moodle knowledge base. So that is an alternative. Um, one of the other options um, on this site was All Sides. Uh, I didn't find it particularly helpful, but I thought maybe uh, politics majors might find it useful. Um, so it's just got a lot of information um, from all sides. It's balanced news. Um, other people might find it beneficial as well. Um, the next one was Google Lens, um, which I think is fascinating. Um, Google Lens can, you point your smart, smartphone uh, camera at any object and can give you information about it. Now, with the new iPhone, uh, you can use the camera feature and it will do that for most objects automatically. Um, this is kind of cool. Uh, I think it's a really great tool that you can use in your, in your classes, um, especially um, if you're getting out and doing anything out in the world, um, community-based learning, just getting out in the world, looking up plants, animals, buildings, historical markers, anything like that. Um, and just incorporating some of that augmented reality. And the next thing was Bulb. Um, I didn't get to explore this too much, but this is essentially um, a digital portfolio. Um, they do have an option, a paid version, that can integrate with a learning management system. Um, so we could integrate it with Moodle. Um, that would be a possibility, but it would have to be paid. Um, just to show you a sample, so students can essentially create a portfolio. Um, they can also build a resume online. I'm sure we also have tools. Uh, the um, Center for Career and Professional Development probably have tools that do this, um, but this would be an option that you could probably use, similar to WordPress, I guess, uh, for students to create kind of a portfolio for themselves. Um, and then the last tool, or the well, second to last tool, um, embrace race. Um, I thought this was a really great site. Um, it just seemed really geared more toward younger children, um, but I just wanted to show a little bit just because it has some really great topics um, and I think it'd be worth looking at um, whether you have small children at home or you find use um, for yourself in your classes. Um, there's some great content. I thought it was just kind of cool to look at. Um, and then the last thing that they suggest is Prezi. Um, we have used Prezi. Um, a lot of faculty and students have used Prezi. Um, they continually are upgrading um, and providing more features. Um, so you can essentially do entire presentations, um, upload and share videos, uh, share the screen. Um, and it's a pretty cool tool and it's free. Um, so, if you have any questions about any of these things, um, you're welcome to reach out to me. Um, but I think it's important to remember that um, I know faculty are overwhelmed with all the tools and the options that are out there, and students get just as overwhelmed. Um, so sometimes more is not better, um, but finding the right tool for the job, um, and we are happy to help you with that.